I traded the F450 on this beauty. Um, this is now a bicycle channel. I'm just joking, guys. But there's nowhere to park this thing. So I had to pedal this motherfucker, and it was all uphill. I, I look like shit. Probably as per usual. So, I'm sorry to disappoint you guys. This video is not going to be about a bicycle. I had a rare opportunity to transport a mint condition 7.3 IDI before the turbo. The interior was redone to factory. It has less rust than my 2014 F250. So, I want to do a bit more than just starting it, shutting it off in some B-roll, because this is a throwback to basically what started this channel. Now see, back a little while ago, what started all this was a little cold start video I did. Got like 70,000 views within a month. And that's pretty much where I marked the line of doing bullshit, skidoo, and four-wheeling videos. random stuff to making this a truck channel, a diesel pickup channel. It was pretty cool getting to start up one of, if not the first, Power Stroke Ford made. That thing is just a time capsule. And after that, just to make the video a little bit longer, I'm gonna do some Q&A stuff. Enjoy the truck. Holy shit, it is a real power stroke. So I wanted to do a Q&A in the truck. Didn't bring the keys to the truck. It's a tad too warm in there. Let me rephrase that. I didn't bring the fob to the truck. I have the key. 2021 keys are now useless. So yeah, I'm just gonna scroll through some of your comments and see which ones are worth answering. See which ones are just stupid. By the way guys, I made a video on the bed setup. Thought you guys would be like super into that four days ago, it's only got 2,000 views, so in case you don't know that's there, go check that out. It's, I mean, it's, I'm pretty proud of what I did. You guys should, you, you guys have to see it. Okay, first off, thanks for all the wishes about the hurricane. That happened last night. I don't know when I'm getting this video up, but some pretty interesting things happened. A lot of trees, a lot of power lines. It didn't seem to be too dangerous, which is a good thing, but yeah, it was pretty intense. Um, they had like, tent set up for the Iceberg Alley concert and that's just like decimated. I've actually, I actually rode out that storm here in Halifax. We got like a bunch of rain here, but, uh, and I'm by no means staying here permanently. I'm actually headed back to Newfoundland in like a couple days. Okay, so Road Glide said, I've noticed on another channel I follow Work Play. I think I know who you're talking about. His F450 suffers from electrical gremlins too. His mirrors extend and retract all on their own. Um, I have had some weird electrical things happen. Um, not sure. I, I hooked up a dash cam. Now I did it like how everyone else did it, but it was after that that I had some electrical issues. I had some electrical issues before that too, so I'm not sure what's causing what. I mean, I'm not doing anything different than I did the 350. My mirrors, actually right now you can see my mirrors are out. It's not where I left them. You don't need mirrors out to tow a 14 foot utility trailer. So, weird stuff going on there. Uh, my back window, the one in the rear glass, stays open, which is super weird. 
Um, but that works out because I put my AC vent through there. So, I mean, that works. So guys, I'm gonna address this real quick. I am not a hot shot. I see lots of comments saying that I'm a hot shot, favorite hot shot, whatever. Um, appreciate it, love all the comments, but I and most people don't do hot shotting. Hot shotting is expedited freight, time sensitive, usually oil field construction, stuff like that. Um, in Newfoundland Labrador, there isn't a lot of hot shot. Uh, it's because just everything is slow and people kind of just got used to that. Uh, they work around it. Most of the companies that need stuff quickly, they just have their own vehicles. They have their own trucks. So there isn't a whole lot of expedited stuff. Therefore, there isn't a whole lot of hot shot. Um, all the oil field here is offshore. So hot shot comes in by boat. But uh, I mean, call it what you want. It's LTL and uh, who cares? It's a hell of a lot of fun running it in a pickup and I'm doing this because I enjoy it. But uh, I mean, What's, what's the need for titling everything? That, who cares? Please give me Visa USA. Love from India. No. Why would I give? Well, no, for one, I'm Canadian. We drink maple syrup. We don't carry Glocks. It's different. Still have the 250 and the 350. 350 is gone. I'll do a video on it. Um, it's actually a good story. While I'm only making a video a month, or even less, uh, which I'm working on, um, there's other things to be told. 250, once again, 250, it's not going anywhere for the foreseeable future. So, moving on. Someone said that it seemed like I was so-so on this truck, this F450, um, and if I had another chance, would I do it all again? Would I do it over? Would I go the same route? And, yeah, I would. This truck, especially relatively to my F350, has given me no problems. Um, it hasn't left me stranded, didn't leave me on the side of the road like that one did. This has been a good truck. It's put in its work and it keeps working. I know I can get in, press the button, she'll fire up, she'll get the job done. A few issues here and there, yeah. Issues that I shouldn't be having, having, yeah. But, I mean, I think that was mainly referring to the AC. These trucks are meant for work. Back in the 50s when trucks were real trucks, they didn't have AC, so not a huge deal. Should the AC work? Of course, and it will. When I'm not so busy that I can't bring this in for warranty. Um, everything's covered under warranty, it's not a big deal. It'll get fixed, uh, it's just a matter of when. Couple issues here and there, probably computer, plug it in, refresh it. Have you tried turning it off and on again? That's gonna do it for this video, guys. That was like all the comments in that video thread. I like talking to you guys. I like answering your questions face-to-face -face on video. It's kind of fun. I hope you enjoyed the cold start. That was a pretty cool thing. That's gonna be it. That's gonna do it. You guys, you guys have a good day. Yeah, boy.